Hello, hello, it's Thumbflit here. Here's an item on geometry. Here we have an equilateral triangle with side length 2 centimeters. Find its area. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now in first thought, we might try to use one of base times height, which is possible. But today I'll be showing you two ways to get the area of this equilateral triangle. So the first method is to try to use the one half base times height, which is the, um, the formula that we are all familiar with. So let's try to do that. So for method one, we're, drawing to, we're going to draw the height and we're going to try to get what's the value of this height. Now, the reason why we want to draw the height is because, well, I mean, the given side length is two, but it's obvious enough that this side is two and this side is obviously two as well. But thanks to symmetry and stuff in the equilateral triangle, we know that this height over here is going to split this segment, which is two centimeters, into two equal parts of one and one. And again, because of a nice symmetry in isosceles triangles and equilateral triangles as well, uh, this is going to be a right angle over here. Like this angle, it's going to be a 90 degree angle. Now, whenever we see a 90 degree angle, we get excited and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem because we can apply the Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle over here or the left one, up to you. But we can use the Pythagorean theorem to form an equation and then we're going to solve for h. All right, so if we're going to do uh, the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to get that h squared plus uh, 1 squared. It's going to equal to 2 squared. And then all we have to do is just solve for h. So h squared plus 1 equals 4. So h squared, it's going to equal 3. Take the square root of both sides. h is equal to, again, plus minus square root 3. But we're talking about distances, so just take the positive one. So our height, it's going to be equal to square root 3. So last thing we have to do is just make sure that we're going to make this one, the side length of 2 as the, as the base, and then this h, which we got to be equal to square root of 3 as the height. So 1 half times base times height, 1 half times the base of 2 times the height of square root 3. We have the 2 and the 2 here that cancels, and we're just going to end up with square root 3. And don't forget the unit since we had um, the side length in centimeters. Our answer here would be in terms of uh, square centimeters. So the area of the triangle will be equal to square root of 3 square centimeters. That's for the first method. And the second method is just a generalization. And I'll be giving you a nice equation, sorry, a nice formula for the area of an equilateral triangle. So for the second method, if we have a general equilateral triangle, let's just say the side length is S, then we, here we have the formula for it, the area A. So the area is going to be equal to s squared times square root 3 and then divided by 4. Now, since we're dealing with the equilateral triangle in the beginning, which has a side length of 2, let's just assign s equals 2 and let's try to substitute s here as 2. So if we try to do that, we're going to get that side squared. So s squared becomes 2 squared and then times square root 3 and then divided by 4. Now 2 squared is just 4, so again, we, we can still cancel these two values. And then same, we're just going to end up with square root of 3. And just don't forget the unit of square cm. So there we have it. Whether you use the first method or the second method, but then again, you can always memorize the formula to uh, speed up your solving processes in the future. But nevertheless, the area of the equilateral triangle with a side length of 2 centimeters is going to be square root of 3 square centimeters. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!